Hi everyone, it's another day in the soap crafting and candle making world. Just wanted to share with you all, um, I got my new Soapalicious soap package in from Brombleberry Soap Crafting Club. Um, probably upside down for you guys, but um, came with this neat little informational package for some soap samples that they also sent in the package. And uh, here is our first bar. This one is called Mockingbird. This soap was sent to me from um, Atlanta by Karen. It's got raw goat milk, olive, coconut, palm, and castor oil in it. And it's scented with black tea and bow brummel fragrances. Don't know if you can see that. But it's called Mockingbird. Really love the packages. And the top of it, don't know if you can see that, but the top of it has, looks like um, some type of maybe poppy seed. Smells pretty good though. Definitely um, going to be interesting to try this one out and see how it looks. Um, the next one that came in my box. Oh, wow. Love the packaging on this one, too. This is from Libby Kate's Soap Company. And this one is called Rose Hip and Jasmine. This is how her packaging looks. Don't know if you can see that. Love how this is editively designed. Oh, wow. Inside is her nice um, business card and she hails from Villa Park, Illinois. I like that. And here is her soap that was sent to me in the soap swap. Oh wow, something I've been wanting to try um, that's next on the list. These are actual rosebuds. And this um, Soap again was rose hip and jasmine. Oh God, I'm definitely going to have to make a soap like this. I've been staying away from florals because they tend to trace really fast unless you know how to work with them. And so I've pretty much been doing fragrances that I'm a little bit more familiar with. But I think I'm going to step up my box and um try this, especially since I've got some red rose petals just waiting to be transplanted into some soap. And again, this one came from um, Lori Kate's or Libby Kate's Soap Company. Thank The next one that we have, oh, love this packaging too. This one came from let you guys see that. Um, Sands Ear Soap. This one's called Fresh Snow Swirl is the name of this soap. And this one's got coconut oil, canola oil, olive, um, castor seed oil, and definitely vitamin E. Love her soap packaging as well. And a nice pretty green ribbon silky ribbon on top of that and this one just slides out so it's pretty neat for packaging and she's got some nice swirls going on in here really liking how that came out smells pretty good I really like that um, wow this is called Fresh Snow. Really gives me an idea of being um, in the winter and really opening up to some fresh um, snow and fresh, um, it doesn't really have a scent of pine to it, but it really, really, really smells good. So I'm glad that I got that. That's really, really nice. I'm gonna have to try that scent as well. And let's see, so I got a total of 12 bars from all over the world. 
And here's the next one. Um, this is from Winberg Bathworks. This is pineapple salsa soap. And this soap is about six and a half ounces. It's got a nice melt and pour soap ball on top. If any of you have been following me, you know I'm kind of into my soap balls right now. And when we take it off, she's got some nice layering on the inside here. Nice and smooth all the way around. Kind of a golden color, and then she's got some nice gold. I don't know if you can see that either. Some nice gold mica um, in there, too. really like this one. Yeah, you can definitely smell the pineapple in this one. Really love her packaging, too. It's simple, but yet it's really just unique. I love her circle um, labels that she's got on here, and then her soap band, which still allows you to see the complete bar of soap. Really, really nice. I like that. Um, she has in here olive oil, palm, coconut, rice bran oil, shea butter, kale and clay goat milk powder, um, some a little bit of glycerin soap, which she used for the soap ball, um, and some glitter, but really, really overall, really, really nice bar of soap. Okay, next in our lineup, this is from Junction Soap Works, and this one's called My Bow. Hmm, I think I'm going to let my husband try this one. This is nice, too. I really, really like her soap band. She just used, looks like, some, maybe some cardstock that has musical notes on there. I don't know if you can see that really well, but really, really nice. This kind of reminds me of a manly soap. It's got some, looks like it's a little gray swirls in there, and then it's got white on there. The top is swirled as well. And then she used a wavy soap cutter. So that's really, really cool. I really like that. Yeah, I think this is going to be a hubby type of soap. I don't want to leave him out. Um, this has uh, coconut, palm, canola, and castor oils in there. Um, it's got some activated charcoal as well. So that's kind of what you see with the grayish color in there. But this is really nice. I like her packaging as well. Gives me some different ideas to package my soaps that I'm going to be doing. Okay, the next bar that we have, this is lemongrass sage. I see a lot of people doing this one, but I've not actually done this one before. Um... This is lemongrass sage. It's got a nice soap band on there. And she's got, it looks like, maybe some juniper. Um, yeah, or probably lemongrass, I would think, in there. Smells really great. Um, she's got olive oil, coconut oil, um, filtered water, sunflower oil, and she's got some gold mica and some other things, some mango butter in here. Lavender is what it was. Lavender and sage also is in here. Really, really nice. I don't want to take it out um, because it feels like it's still uh, a little soft. So I'm going to wait and open that one. But this is really nice too. Really, really like the primitive packaging on here. And let's see. Oh, wow. One of my favorite colors, in case you all didn't know. Pink. This is from That Blue Cat. This one is Sweet Pea. I was just thinking this morning, in fact, that I wanted to make some Sweet Pea soap. So maybe I'll um, do a Sweet Pea soap. If you guys have something that you'd like me to make, just send me a comment or shoot me an email and let me know. And um, I'll make it and post a video on it. Um, this is made with canola, palm, uh, coconut oil, and castor oil. It's got a little titanium dioxide, which is just a whitening, makes your soaps whiter than they are. Um, this is from Brett Griffith. Um, and 
I don't have an idea with this particular bar of soap where the individual is from, but it's really, really nice. I like the packaging, just simple tissue paper. Sometimes simple is better, especially when you have a nice surprise underneath. And um, this has some glitter or something on top of it, but it's really, really nice. Simple bar of soap. It's got a rosy pink, uh, pink layer here, white, and then some green, just in case you all can't see that. And it's really, really nice. Sweet Pea smells really good. It's not one that I had actually thought of doing, but um, does give me some ideas. I like that one. And let's see, what else do we have in our bar of goodies? This is eucalyptus spearmint. I've done this scent a little while ago, but nothing recently. Um, this has canola, coconut, palm. Um, they chose to use something old school, vegetable shortening, uh, and then some green chrome oxide. And this is really, really nice. I uh, love the packaging. This is heat wrap or shrink wrap rather. Um, so that you can keep the freshness inside, but still see the overall product on the inside. And um, again, this is eucalyptus spearmint soap. And oh, wow, love, love, love this packaging. I'm definitely going to have to give a shout out to her. This is Lila Honeybee. It's made with pure wildflower honey. It's called Honey Sunshine Soap. And it's from Great Swamp, Long Hill, New Jersey. Totally love the packaging. I love the colors. It's got some pink and some yellow inside of it. Totally love it. Totally, totally love it. And hoping that I can still get this out. She's done a little bit of swirl in there. She's got some pink and some... Um, Try to close this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully this is some better lighting. But it's pink and a little bit of yellow. And she has a soap stamp. Hopefully you can see that. And she's got a honeybee on top of that. Totally love this. Um, oh, definitely you can smell the wildflower. And it's got a sweet but not overly powerful um, scent to it, but I totally love this. She used coconut palm, apricot, sweet almond, and castor oil in it. It's also got some beeswax, yuzu, and saffron, and honey fragrances. So she mixed all of that together, but totally, totally, totally love her packaging. There's her round label on the back. Totally love this. Made from organic beeswax from Lila's Hive. Really, really like that. Okay, got a couple of more bars. And love this. She's got a piece of raffia um, tied to the top. Oh my gosh, I love this. Summer Melon Spritzer. I'm definitely going to have to check and see if I can find that scent or ask her where she got the scent from. Um, it's got olive, lard, spring water, coconut oil, and buttermilk, castor oil, avocado oil, and Brazilian clay and spirulina in this. And this is made uh, by Tara Keener. Um, and she's got her contact information on here. I totally, totally love her packaging. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Oh, wow. These ladies really stepped it up. Okay. This is from Amazon. This is Amazon Lily Rain. I love this. Okay. She's done my thing. I love the purple ribbons and different silky ribbons. I always tie them to my candle jars. And so... Um, she actually tied her to the individual bar of soap and then created a hang tag. Totally simple, but just 
elegant. Um, again, this is Amazon Lily Rain. Very different scent. It's kind of got this little spice to it. Um, I would have thought that it would have been more mellow, oceanic, or atmospheric, but um, overall, nonetheless, still a great looking bar of soap. Totally love it. Hope the colors and everything are coming out um, for you. But it's got coconut oil, uh, palm oil, olive oil, castor in it, a little sodium lactate. Sodium lactate makes your bars harder. Um, some yellow oxide, purple Brazilian clay, which means it's all natural as well, and some titanium di dioxide. Totally, totally love this bar of soap. It smells really good. And, oh wow, okay. This is super cool. Would have never thought to package my soap like this. This is, um, looks like some type of little sack, maybe. I'm not really sure, but I, I like it nonetheless. And then it's got two holes and a ribbon uh, tie. This is Lavender Energy. This bar came from KCK Soaps uh, from Midland, Michigan. And it has olive oil, coconut oil, uh, palm oil, castor oil, and some colorants in it. And again, this one's called Lavender Energy. I hate to open it because it's so pretty. But I don't want to keep you in suspense. Simply, simply beautiful. Totally love the colors. And I'm going to try to turn my lights down a little bit more so you can see the soap. Hope that the colors are actually coming out for you. But it's a bluish peach and a cream color is what they are. Like this. I'm not a fan of lavender, but it's mixed with something else and so it totally balances the lavender in here. Great, great, great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I think that we have one more thing that totally sums up our soap swap. I got an excellent package that I'm going to have to figure out what soap I want to put this in. This came from Bombleberry.com. Um, it's their new neon blue colorant. It's a sample packaging um, that they sent, and then they also sent me, this is called Sunny Herb Garden. It's a, uh, looks like maybe a half an ounce or a quarter of an ounce. Yeah, probably about half an ounce. Um, sample size of fragrance oil that um, is special for their month. Uh, March, I think. It's different. Not really sure how it will come out in cold process soap, but it's definitely interesting. And last but not least, the last thing that we have going on in our neck of the woods is I'm infusing some uh, oil, some uh, olive oil and also some avocado oil. One is being infused with calendula. Um, rose petals also is what I am infusing, and I'm going to be using those in some of my upcoming soaps. Thanks for tuning in and for watching. Have a great day.